Okay, so 20 plus years ago, two anchors on the Today Show said, what is the internet? Yes. And now Al Roker, anchor of the Today Show, is at the Shorty Awards, a digital media award show. You've what is full that? Full circle, full right? circle. It's a chance for all these people out there to go, who's the old guy? No. But uh, it's, uh, it is kind of fascinating. It's, it's like uh, broadcasting was back in the 1920s. You know, it was a, it's a new medium. It's gaining more and more uh, prominence. And uh, it's changing the way we view media. How has it changed your, your media? Well, we get uh, you know, user-generated uh, content uh, over the internet. You know, uh, when there's severe weather, uh, it gives us a kind of a, a head start on what's going on out there. Uh, it, it's, it really is kind of, it's, it's amazing how fast it's changed what we do. And speaking of what you do, you wrote a great book that I read a few weeks ago, actually. And there's one chapter I love. It says, don't label your kids. Yes. Yeah, well, we wrote, my wife and I, Deborah Roberts, wrote a book called Been There, Done That. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we kind of do a he said, she said about life and, you know, marriage and kids. And, and uh, you know, there are a lot of kids out there who may not fit that normal mold, mm -hmm. but... Uh, uh, and I, Lord knows I was one of them growing up. Yeah. I mean, before there was the internet, there was audio video, I mean, audio visuals. I was, I was a nerd in high school who knew how to thread the projector. And uh, my parents kind of, you know, they, they, I, I know they were kind of thinking, oh God, what's gonna happen? Yeah. But they, they nurtured my passion, which was uh, uh, video and movies, and it's where I am today. So listen to your kids and listen to their passion. And I didn't know that you were an audio-visual nerd, but I feel like you are always interviewing other people. Yes. So I want everyone to get to know Al Roker a little bit. Will you play a rapid-fire game with me? Okay. Okay. Your favorite breakfast? Uh, uh, egg, two eggs over easy, uh, whole wheat toast, and bacon. Your I made it moment? Um, the day Bryant Gumbel introduced me on the Today Show. Now, when you say Bryant Gumbel, I think of him taking his glasses off. Ah. <laughs> Um, okay, how about something you're most proud of that's not on your resume? Um, uh, yeah, I've got three, three terrific children and a great wife. Okay, and when you're being bad and you need a midnight snack, what's, a, what's the go-to? Um, uh, I would say a, a, a slice of really high-quality pound cake and some vanilla ice cream. And how about the first cassette or record you ever owned? First record I ever owned was Alvin and the Chipmunks Sing the Beatles. 1964. Uh, I forgot how it goes. Do you know? Oh, yeah. Uh, I want to hold your hand. You have to. It was much faster, but yeah. That was pretty good. Thank you. All right. And then a little shout out to the Shorty Awards. Way to go, Shorties. I mean, you may be Shorty in name, but you are a giant in the award industry. Ooh, that was a good one. Thank you so much, Alex. Yeah, Daniel. Take nice care. meeting you. Nice to meet you. Bottom line. I create stars on the internet. And if you're a star on the internet, then you're at the Shawnee Award!